Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a hip re-education circuit with just bands. So all you need are big looped bands, a sturdy anchor point, and a small looped band. Essentially, we are just getting those hip muscles going with some lighter to moderate band work, hitting them in all different angles. And really this is just to build the mind muscle connection and, um, keep the hips healthy. So you still wanna do some lifting, um, like some squats and deadlifts and things like that in addition to this, but this can get them going to get you to a point where you can tolerate those activities as well. So we are going to be doing three rounds of six exercises and I'm going to run through the exercises real fast. So we're gonna start with a banded hip hinge. So you want a heavier band and I will link all the bands that I am using below as well. You're gonna take your band and you're gonna loop it around an anchor point at about hip height and you're gonna step in. You're gonna put it around your hips and you want to be able to lean forward at an angle here. You're squeezing your butt Sitting the hips back, back is staying flat, so you're not rounding at all. Back is staying flat and you're squeezing your butt, tucking the hips under, leaning forward into the band, really squeezing your butt as hard as you can here. And then you're gonna come back and go again. We're gonna be doing eight reps of those. Back is staying flat, letting the band pull you back. Knees are slightly bent. From there, we're gonna be doing a standing banded clamshell. So you're gonna take your small looped band and you're gonna put it around your knees. You're going to rest your foot on a wall or something like that. Here, again, stance leg is slightly bent, back is flat. Your foot is just resting there. If you need to hold on to something for balance, you can. Stomach is nice and tight. And then you're pushing out and then back in. You're not twisting the hips at all. So stomach tight, hips are square towards the ground, coming out and in. You should feel it on both sides of the hips with that one. We're gonna be doing 10 on each side. And then we're gonna be doing a single leg bridge with overhead pull to get a little bit of core work in there. So you're gonna take a lighter band and we're gonna loop it around at a lower height. So laying on your back, looping the band around so you can have two spots here. And we're doing a single leg bridge. If you do need to modify, you can do a double leg bridge. So with that bridge, you're driving your heels into the ground. You're squeezing your butt, keeping the stomach tight and lifting up. With this, you are also pushing down slightly into the band to get that core a little bit more. So here, stomach is tight, squeeze your butt and lift up. And then if you're doing the single leg, you're lifting up. If you feel it in your quads or your hamstrings, so the front or backs of the thighs, you can adjust your foot position accordingly. So you should feel it core and back of the hip. If you feel it in the low back, make sure you're not arching and bringing that knee towards your chest with that single leg bridge should help you reduce some of the stress on the low back by not allowing you to compensate essentially. So with that, we are doing eight on each side and then we are going to be doing a banded side step into a lateral lunge. So we're standing back up, taking a lighter band, looping it around a little bit lower here at about knee height. And we're stepping away, keeping that knee in line with your toe. Coming out and coming back in. Back is staying flat, sitting the hips back here. And we're gonna be doing eight on each side here and then spinning and facing the other direction. And then we're gonna be doing banded kickbacks. So we're gonna raise this up slightly and you're gonna loop your band behind here and you're gonna be kicking back and coming back in. So you're keeping that stomach nice and tight, hips are square to the ground, not twisting at all, and not letting that back arch. So here, kicking back, you can keep the back leg slightly bent, and you should feel it more so in the hip here. So if you do want, you can keep it a little bit more bent, and you can kind of play around where you feel your glutes or back of the hip the most. Make sure, again, you're not arching your back, hips are staying square facing the ground. We're doing eight on each side for that one. And then we got one last exercise for the circuit. We're doing a modified side plank hip dip to hip abduction. So you're gonna be laying down on the ground in a modified side plank position. So knees, hips, and shoulders all in one line here. You're gonna straighten out your top leg. We're gonna drop down and lift up and that's one. So you're not letting that knee 
rotate up towards the ceiling, you're keeping your hips rolled forward, knee is gonna be twisted, almost facing towards the ground a little bit. So down, up, up, down is one. Shoulder is directly over top of your elbow and you're keeping your hips up controlled. If you do need to modify, you can just come here or you can even just lay on your side and come here. Keeping your hand on your hip can help you prevent rolling back at all. We're doing six of those on each side and that would be one circuit. We're repeating that three times. So let's go ahead and get started here. With the banded hip hinges, we're doing a three second hold using your heavier band here. Stepping in, and we're gonna start in three, two, one, go, down and up, two, three, down, two, two, three, down, three, two, three, down, four, two, three, down, five, two, three, down, six, two, three, down, seven, two, three, squeezing as hard as you can with eight, two, three. Go ahead and we are going to switch to the banded, standing banded clamshells, putting the band around your hips here. Stomach is tight, back is flat, hips are square to the ground, bottom leg is slightly bent, band is just above your knees, going out and in. That's one, two, we're doing 10, three, four, five, six, seven, hips are square, eight, nine, 10, switch to the other side here, back is flat, out and in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, go ahead and relax here. We're doing the single leg bridges next, laying on your back with the band pulling overhead. So grabbing your lighter band, pulling that overhead, engaging your core, back is flat, squeezing your butt, knee to your chest, coming up and down one, two, really driving your heel into the ground, three, four, five, keeping tension in the arms, six, seven, eight, switch to the other side, keeping tension on that band, driving through your heel, one, squeezing your butt as hard as you can, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. Go ahead and relax there. We're gonna stand on back up and we're going into the banded side step with lateral lunge. So just putting it around one knee, just above the knee, and you're taking a big step to the side, pushing knee in line with your toe. That's one, we are doing eight of these. Two, three, back is flat, hips are back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, switch to the other side. Ready, three, two, one, stepping back and coming up. One, two, sitting back with the hips. Three, knee is staying in line with your second toe. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, go ahead and relax here. We're using that same band for the banded kickbacks. Stomach is tight, hips are square to the ground. Three, two, one, one, two, three. Stomach tight, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, switch to the other side. Three, two, one. Stance leg is slightly bent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, go ahead and relax. Going into the modified side plank hip dip to hip abduction. So shoulder is directly over top of your elbow here. Bottom leg is bent, top leg is straight, going up into that modified side plank. Shoulders, hips are facing forward, dropping down and up. One, two, 
three, squeezing your core, four, five, six, we're switching over to the other side. Ready, three, two, one, dropping down and up, one, down, up, two, down, up, three, down, up, four, down, up, five, down, last one, up, six. Going back into the second round. So nice job guys with that first round. We got the same thing two more times. So standing banded hip hinge here, holding for three seconds each time, leaning forward, really squeezing your butt as hard as you can. Starting in three, two, one, go down and up, two, three, down, two, two, three, down, three, two, three, down, four, two, three, down, five, two, three, down, six, two, three, down, seven, two, three, squeezing as hard as you can with eight, two, three. Good, go ahead and relax. We're doing your standard banded clamshells next. So grabbing your small loops band, stance leg is slightly bent. Hips are square facing the ground, staying still throughout. Foot is on the wall here, back is flat. Ready, three, two, one, out and in. One, two, three, four, five. We're doing 10, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Switch to the other side. Starting in three, two, one, go. One, two, hips are still. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more, nine, 10. Good, go ahead and relax. We're doing your single leg bridges next with the overhead pull, getting that core going a little bit as well. Holding your lighter band over your head. Stomach is tight, back is pushing into the ground to start. Bringing your knee towards your chest, tension on the band, driving through your heel. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, squeezing your butt as hard as you can, five, six, seven, eight. Good, go ahead and relax there. We're standing back up here with a side step to lateral lunge. So anchoring your band at about knee height. Back flat, knee in line with your toe, sitting the hips back. And we are doing eight of these. Ready, three, two, one, go. Out and in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, switch to the other side. Ready, three, two, one, out and in, one, Two, not letting the band snap you back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, go ahead and take the band off. We're doing your banded kickbacks next. We're doing eight of these. Stomach is nice and tight, stance leg is slightly bent. You can have the back leg slightly bent, or bent a little bit more, depending on which one you feel in the hip more. Ribs are staying down. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, switch to the other side. Three, two, one, go. One, two, Controlling it the whole time, three, four, five, six, 
five, six, seven, eight. Good. Go ahead and relax here. We're going into the modified side plank hip dip to hip abduction. So on your knees, shoulder directly over top of your elbow, shoulders, hips, and knee all in one line. Knee is rotated down, hand is on your hip, not letting the hips rotate. Three, two, one, dropping down and coming up. That's one, we're doing six. Two, three, four, five, six. Switching over to the other side, starting in three, two, one, go. Down and up, one, two, feeling it on the sides of the hips and core. Three, four, five, last one, six. Go ahead and relax for a second. We're standing back up, going right into the last round. We got one more. Eight of these, holding for three seconds each with the standing banded hip hinges, leaning forward, really focusing on squeezing your butt, and go. Down and up, two, three, down, two, two, three, down, three, two, three, down, four, two, three, down, five, two, three, down, six, two, three, squeezing as hard as you can, seven, two, three, eight, two, three, and relax. Going into the last round of the standing banded clamshells, keeping your back nice and flat, stomach tight, hips square, facing the ground, not letting yourself twist as you move the knee out to the side. You can hold on to balance if you need. Foot is about knee height. Ready, three, two, one, out and in. We're doing 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Not letting this stance leg fall in at all at any point. Ready, three, two, one, out and in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good, go ahead and take that band off. We're laying on your back with the bridges, with the overhead pull. So grabbing your lighter band, scooting away if you need, arms are overhead, pulling down just to put tension on the band, engaging your core, pushing your low back into the ground, knee toward your chest, and lifting up and down. We're doing eight, one, two, driving through your heel, three, four, Keeping tension on the band, five, six, seven, eight. We're switching to the other side, keeping that core engaged, driving through your heels, squeezing your butt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, go ahead and relax. Standing back up, going into your lateral lunge with the band. Band is around your knee, back is flat, hips are staying back, knee is staying in line with your second toe. Ready, three, two, one, out and in. That's one, we're doing eight. Two, controlling it out and in. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, switching over to the other side. Face in the other direction, starting in three, two, one, out and in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight, good. Doing the banded kickbacks next. We're doing eight of these. Stomach is nice and tight. Hips are square to the ground. Back is staying flat, not arching at all. So ribs are staying down. Three, two, one. Kicking back. One, two, three. We're doing eight, four, 
five, controlling it out and in, six, seven, eight. Switch to the other side, three, two, one, go. Out and in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, go ahead and relax. We got one more exercise for today. We are doing the modified side plank, hip dip to hip abduction, shoulder directly over top of your elbow, shoulders, hips, and knees all in one line, knee is rolled forward, not letting the hips twist forward or back. Three, two, one, dipping down and up. We're doing six, one, two, three, four, five, six, good. Switch to the other side. Elbow right under your shoulder, coming up. Three, two, one, down and up. One, not letting the hips rock back. Two, three, four, five, six. Good, go ahead and relax there. Nice job guys, finishing that third set and finishing the whole entire workout. If you do like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Feel free to drop any questions below. And if you do want more hip health tips, go ahead and check out my hip prehab program. I will see you in the next video.